Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We meet in Christ's name. Let us share his peace. Lovely to have you, as I said earlier, joining us here in St Andrew's Kelso. And as we record, we're enjoying an absolutely beautiful autumn day. It's like the leaves are glowing as they change colour and eventually drop. And so, as I said, it's good to have you here, and we hope that you can join in this service in whatever way you, you choose. Our theme for today is Everyone is Welcome, and I will lead you through the first part of our service, and Bob will read the Gospel and preach and celebrate later. And so, in a moment of quiet, let's just gather our thoughts and be still. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, the first commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, Love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Amen. Lord, have mercy. God is love, and each one of us is a precious child of God. There is no room for fear in love. We love because God loved us first. And so, let us take a moment to confess our sins in penitence and in faith. God, our Father, we confess to you and to our fellow members in the body of Christ, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. We are truly sorry. Forgive us our sins and deliver us from the power of evil for the sake of your Son who died for us, Jesus Christ, our Lord. God, who has both power and love, forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his Spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And so let us pray. Almighty Father, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of all, govern the hearts and minds of those in authority, and bring the families of the nations, divided and torn apart by the ravages of sin, to be subject to his just and gentle rule, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. For our intercessions today, we're going to use the form of intercession one on page 23 of the Blue Service Book, if you have that to hand. Through Jesus, whom we confess as Lord, we give thanks and praise to the Father, calling on him who is judge of all. Father, your kingdom come. Father, your kingdom come. For all the peoples of the world, Afghanistan, Ethiopia, Syria, Yemen, the places where there is conflict and violence, suffering, 
and impossible heart-rending choices. May they know you as the God of peace. Father, your kingdom come. Father, your kingdom come. For nations, for leaders and governments, for those negotiating for the healing of the planet, our home, at this time of climate change. May they face the reality of what the science tells us and initiate the action required to bring about the necessary transformation. May integrity mark all their dealings. We pray to you, O Lord. Father, your kingdom come. For all who labour for righteousness, for those who speak out about inequality, prejudice and injustice, in the world of politics, business, health, education, the care of the poor. May your presence and help give them courage. We pray to you, O Lord, Father, your kingdom come. For communities torn by dissension and strife, often caused by crime, drug taking, gang rivalry. May people who are on opposing sides in any, any area of life learn to live in unity and at peace with one another. And may your forgiveness bring healing and reconciliation. We pray to you, O Lord. Father, your kingdom come. For the anxious, the lonely, the bereaved, and for those who are on our hearts at this time, we take a moment to remember them. May consolation and peace be theirs, we pray to you, O Lord, Father, your kingdom come. For the church, your household and family, may she be a place and a people of welcome and warmth, acceptance and love, of safety and refuge. May we, your church, be people who shine the light of Jesus. We pray to you, O Lord, Father, your kingdom come. And here in the Scottish Episcopal Church, we pray for our Bishop John in this Diocese of Edinburgh. As he makes decisions, we ask that you will give him the strength that he needs, the wisdom that he needs in changing times in many areas of life. We pray for the College of Bishops in the Scottish Episcopal Church, particularly for Mark, our Primus. And so for all who bear Christ's name, may our lives, their lives, proclaim your glory. We pray to you, O Lord. Father, your kingdom come. And for those who are separated from us by death, that theirs may be the kingdom which is unshakable. We pray to you, O Lord. Father, your kingdom come. O God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, make us perfect in all goodness to do your will and to be what you would have us be. Through him, to whom be glory forever, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our first reading today is from the book of Psalms, Psalm number 62, beginning at verse 5.
Wait on God alone in stillness, O my soul, for in him is my hope. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold, so that I shall not be shaken. In God is my strength and my glory. God is my strong rock, in him is my refuge. Put your trust in him always, my people. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. The peoples are but a breath, the whole human race a deceit. On the scales they are altogether lighter than air. Put no trust in oppression. In robbery take no empty pride. Though wealth increase, step not your heart upon it. God spoke once, and twice have I heard the same, that power belongs to God. Steadfast love belongs to you, O Lord, for you repay everyone according to their deeds. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. And now Bob will read our gospel and preach to us. 